Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. This is Mike from Mike's Computer Tips. Today I want to talk a little bit about basic computer usage. You know, I told people in my earlier videos and I still stand by it that computers need to be maintained just like your car or your house or your cell or anything. Computers get clogged up and they need to be cleaned out. They need to have maintenance done to them. This is the most important thing to owning and using your computer because over time it's going to get clogged up with a lot of files because you, every website that you go to keeps a tracking cookie on your computer and eventually your computer is going to slow down it can be the fastest computer on the market or it can be the fastest custom built computer eventually it's going to slow down and you need to go in and remove temporary files okay now I've been working on computers for over 20 years in my own business and about 90% of all problems are people that don't do maintenance and they just clutter up their computer with a lot of stuff, get spyware, get a lot of junk, infections, viruses and so forth on their computer. What you need to do is you need to clean your computer and maintain it every couple months. Make sure you do all your Windows updates. Make sure you're on Windows 10 and not on Windows 7. Windows 7 is no good anymore for performance. The internet is changed. You need Windows 10 on your computer to run properly. And you need to clean your cache out. That's called C-A-S-H-E, spell it, that it's cash, meaning you have to go in and remove your cookies, your temporary files, your temporary internet files, your prefetch files, and clear all those out every couple months. You need to clean your Google browser out. You need to go to history in your Google browser. And you need to remove all your history entries every couple months. Okay. You need to go into add remove programs or programs and features in the control panel of your computer and remove programs you no longer use that just take up space. You need to re empty your recycle bin and remove files and folders that you're saving on your computer that you know don't use anymore or if you want to save pictures and files and extra things on your computer you need to get an external DVD or external hard drive which is my favorite option and save everything that's important on your external hard drive in case something happens to your computer and plus it will run better with less clutter on your computer that's always a plus and run a program called CCleaner which will clean out all the mess and it's spelled CCleaner C as the third letter of alphabet cleaner download install it run it and it's a free version you also need a free antivirus, and I recommend Avast. It's called A-V-A-S-T, free version from Windows 10. Download, install it, and run it. There's a third program that I recommend that is also completely free. It's called Super Anti-Spyware Removal. And it's got a little bug icon. Download it, run it. And it will look for any kind of infections on your computer. 
This you need to do every couple months to keep your computer running good or if you think you have infections or a virus, run the programs that I just recommended to you and it will help keep your computer running clean and it will keep it from, from getting all kinds of junk that sits on there and bogs it down. That's a really a must option with computers. If you don't have an SSD hard drive, which is the latest type hard drive, you should upgrade your computer to an SSD hard drive. Basic hard drive in your computer runs at 7200 RPMs. SSD hard drive runs at 15,000 RPMs because they have no moving parts. So if you need any um, more information on SSD hard drive and where to get them, I do sell them or you can buy them on your own. Just let me know in the comments and you can have your local computer guy put it on your computer. If you need to buy a version of Windows 10, I do have them for sale also, or you could buy it on your own. Once you install your SSD hard drive, you need to have your hard drive clone. That means everything that's on your hard drive needs to be put on the SSD hard drive. Another thing that I recommend is your memory. How much memory does your computer have? I'm talking about RAM memory, not video memory, RAM memory. In today's age of internet, you should have at least four gigs of memory or six gigs of memory on a basic computer. Okay, if you go to your control panel and then go open, make sure the drop down on the upper right says view everything, large icons, drop that down and then double click on system. Once you click on system, it will tell you what processor you have. It will tell you how much memory you have. If you have less than four gigs of RAM memory, you can call a company like crucial.com or I can get you memory for your computer if you want. I would just need the information and you can contact me or leave me a comment and I can help you with that. But the more memory you have, the more things you can do on your computer. Now, every computer will only support a certain amount of memory. If There are some older laptops that will only support 4 gigs, but there's some older laptops that also will support 16. It really depends on your make and model. So let me know if you need any help with that, and I can show you and find out for you how much your computer will hold and how much your computer has. These are things you, you don't always have to go out and buy a new computer. As long as you have Windows 10, you can upgrade your computer. And if you have any questions about that, make sure you, you know, ask me in the comments or any other computer question you have, anything related to your computer, or just a general computer question, feel free to ask me. And I will answer it for you and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click the bell, notification, like or dislike this video. And I will see you in the next video. Keep the comments coming and watch my other videos and you will learn a lot about maintaining your computer. So this is Mike from Mike's Computer Tips. I will talk to you soon.